friend, singer-songwriter, Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer, friend, and jack-of-all-trades, Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Taste Bud Guys. (laughs) All right, guys. Thanks for joining us one more time. Uh, Welcome back. If you uh, have seen us before, if you've not, then thanks for joining us for the first time. I'm Chris. That's Lyle. This is Those Taste Bud Guys. And uh, we're doing more whiskey today, tonight, we're just doing, tonight. We're doing a lot of whiskey lately. Yeah, but there's like a tornado going outside. There's like sirens going off and poles breaking and water <laughs> dripping into the, <laughs> into you the probably studio. probably hear that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, if you would like and follow us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the social media stuff, YouTube, please. And uh, yeah, hit the alarm button so you know when releasing new videos and stuff. And please, please, please follow us on YouTube. It's been going really well lately. We're up to like... Uh, we're not quite 300 subs, but we're getting there. It's so super close. Actually, it probably will be 300 by the time this comes out if the trend keeps going. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. It's been tremendous. It's been um, awesome. Look us up on Patreon. That's our, our next thing that we're trying to get pushed because we want to actually like have a better conversation with you. If you comment in the comment section, you send us a message, we're going to message back. But yep. we want to have some more stuff we want to do on Patreon. We want to actually go out maybe like once a month and maybe go for a drink, maybe have you join us, maybe have you vote once a month and help us figure out what to do for an episode, some other fun stuff. So look us up on Patreon uh, links like right there. Yeah. And real quick, speaking of the comments section and message and stuff, there's been a lot of you guys that's reached out to us. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. We like that you've engaged with us. Some of you guys have, uh, have engaged with us in person uh, others just messages over Facebook and uh, YouTube and stuff, and that's awesome. Thank you so much for that. So, okay, all the bullshit aside. All the bullshit aside. We have a, I hope, a uh, good whiskey. Uh, I'm it's super so excited. interesting. It's so interesting. This seems like it could be a winner. So this is out of two. Or they have amazing marketers. The, yeah, the, the copy is just beautiful. It is. I'm going to read it. We're, this is I think that's the way to go. I think, I think reading it is the way to go. So... <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> quiet class never sourced never chill filtered campfire God, embers the radio voice. whiskey del Bac dorado is a single malt go back to the other one is a single malt whiskey with the character of the american southwest using the scottish model of whiskey making dorado is made from 100% barley that is malted and smoked over a velvet mesquite mesquite fire mashed fermented copper pot skill distilled man i can't i lost it aged and bottled on site now here's the kicker this doesn't say this on the bottle but it says it on their website this is 100 percent their whiskey this is not well it does say never sourced this is not anyone else's whiskey i no, think this is their whiskey everything there in tucson arizona now we've never had an arizona whiskey no <clears throat> though i believe somebody hit me up once on YouTube or Facebook one and mm-hmm. was talking about some of the Arizona. I think we was talking about beers at the time, but um, they was saying got to get on some stuff down there. Uh, they had some amazing stuff. This is their first try at it. It's close enough to Texas. I am. It's excited. mesquite smoked. We kind of saved it for later in the night and uh, we're going to give it a shot. Also, if you see this spot, it's the one that Social Morgan told me not to come on here wearing the bleach spot, the bleach spot because I got carried away. Now, Chris, while you pour yourself a glass because I'm not going to do it for you. Um, <laughs> what is another whiskey that we've had on the show that masqueraded as their own whiskey that was actually sourced out from another distillery? Oh, hmm. well, that's not the question I thought she was going to ask it was me. A, it, was a, it was a good whiskey. It was a fantastic whiskey, but we don't actually know how to get a hold of that whiskey again because it was sourced out. It was jump started. The whole whiskey brand was jump started by buying out a batch of whiskey that had already been aged. Oh, whistle pig. Yes. Whistle okay. Pig. Now, see, I thought you was going to ask me about the other mesquite smoked whiskey we had on oh. the show. No. Nope, which nope. do you know which one I'm talking about? Balcones. No. Oh, that's uh, scrub oak. Oh, mesquite is uh, muskogee. Rimfire. Oh fuck. Rimfire was the other mesquite, but that one was scotch-like. It was yes. so thin and actually pretty expensive. Now, I already got a whiff of this just pouring it and what I got on my fingers, and holy shit, it smells amazing. I think you're going to 
think it's more like Rimfire than you're led no, to believe. Rimspell. You think Rimfire? Yeah. Did we 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 killed that, right? Yeah, it's gone. Killed it. oh. Yeah, I think it's sitting over on the dead shelf. Somewhere. It was, it was good whiskey that we didn't give. It's, yeah, it's a little short bottled sits. I don't see it. I'm sure it's up there. I'm sure we didn't. We didn't give Rimfire its due. We need another bottle of that at some point. Yeah. We'll um, it somewhere. <clears throat> okay, so it has a little smokiness. Yep, that's it. That's it. Here, hand me yeah, that. I was going to say, bring yeah. it over here. We've. This is Rimfire. This is a, a whiskey out of Texas, a uh, single malt that was quite good once we wrapped our heads around the fact that it wasn't going to be a sharp, punchy bourbon. Yeah, that took like a, a few drinks. I think on the show when we first had it, it was a little disappointing because we thought it was something that wasn't going to be. Which, to be fair, this says in the Scotch tradition, right? It does say that. Yeah. That one does not. That one made it seem like it was going to be more bourbon-esque, and it was so light and airy. No, the nose on this But is... you know what state's right next to Texas? Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> you know what I think Arizona did right? No, I know Arizona isn't next to next. <laughs> I had somebody off camera going. <laughs> That's not true at all. But you know what? Some people say that New Mexico is not next to Texas. It's it's actually Arizona. People tell me that all the time. <laughs> I just imagine. No. I just imagine. No, no. I just imagine the 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 border wall just coming down like a Tetris thing, <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> just going all over the country. Yeah. All right. No, nobody says that. I'm, all right. We, I'm, I'm an idiot. I don't know what I was thinking. This whiskey has been in my glass too long not to taste it. Okay, to be <laughs> fair, this is the fourth or fifth whiskey tonight besides the beers we've done. So Texas and Arizona might as well touch. That's fair. Um, the nose is nice. It's smoky. I but like it. But it's it's soft. It's not overpowering. It's not like the Balconies. No. Like that's like... But, it's really Fire. good. It's really, really good. It's got that little bit of sulfur-esque smell. Really light, not like harsh. Kind of got that like little well, they, campfire. When they said campfire embers, they kind of nailed it. Yeah, they kind of nailed it. But I say I think their marketing in general nailed it. All right, I hope this tastes as good as I've let it up to be. Oh, that is <laughs> that's American Scotch. That is American-made scotch. My God. That is delicious. Now, it's a little harsher in the taste than, say, Laphroaig is in the scotch side. Yeah. It's not quite as... is. It's got... Laphroaig is a little more in the nose and a little more in the campfire side where you get a little more wood on this versus less, the other. Less on the tongue. But it's softer on the... Yeah, Laphroaig is, on the side. Laphroaig is softer in the tongue. This has a little more bite to it, but not as much bite as, like, say, the Harbinger uh, Iron Root. There, um, there. I don't think there's any alcohol bite in this at all. I think this is all char no, yeah. and spice, and that is freaking delicious. That's now good. they said <laughs> it's quite. They good. said mm-hmm. uh, tobacco and chocolate. Yes, and yes. they also say never chill filtered. Yeah, which is exactly what uh, Jack a, Daniels prides himself on, ain't it? I think it's a big Tennessee. No charcoal I, filtered. They do charcoal filtered, not chill mm-hmm. filtered. Which maybe this something. Like uh, is it is Bevan Tucker that way? Is it? We may have to run a little box know. of information here, extra editing. I um, just realized how much I've been missing scotch lately. This is quite good, quite good. Do we? How much did this run about a bottle? Do we know, Jared? That's a Jared. Fifty bucks ish ish. Um, okay, if you like scotch. That's this is definitely it. something you want to get to thinking about. If you like smoky, this is something you want to think about. Mm-hmm. If you like a heavy wood flavor, this is something you want to think about. If you like light, airy, or traditional bourbon, mm-hmm. might not be your wheelhouse. No. And this is this is the mesquite smoked. They have other whiskeys. Mesquite's a little... You know what I've discovered is I like mesquite in my whiskey, but not on the meats that's been barbecued and stuff. I, yeah, something around mesquite fair. and smoke does not... I'm a hickory guy for barbecue. I like hickory. Cherry. Cherry? Yeah, I like cherry. Hmm. Um, I like that they say American single malt. I mean, they, this label, whoever did they the... Did it right. And it's 90 proof, which is nice. Um, yeah, it's a good-looking bottle. It's a good-looking label. Nothing like nothing crazy. So, nothing I assume, crazy, like, ridiculous yeah, about the bottle. Yeah, I mean, when you're talking about labels, I'm a little more 
I'm a fan of like Sonoma. I like the kind of raised lettering it's got. It just seems a just a little nicer. But uh, we don't have the one from Noble Oak. They had a really plain label that, that was yeah that really almost popped. like a wine bottle. So yeah, I, I, man, I don't know. I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, Del Bach. Holy crap! You guys killed this yeah. for me. For That's, me, yeah. You guys um, killed it. Yeah, I think definitely won the night. At least maybe the week. Maybe. Maybe the last couple of weeks. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty good. Right. Um, Whiskey Del Bach, American Single Malt. Uh, this is the Dorado or Dorado or Dorito. <laughs> probably not Dorito. Here's they the problem. We're, we're in southern Missouri. Southern Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a town called El Dorado Springs. So we have a tendency to say. Also, we have Versailles. Dur- yeah, so we have a tendency to say Dorado, but I'm pretty sure it's Dorado. I right? think surely it's, it's outside I think of Missouri, it's Dorado. It's Dorado. Um, yeah, just, a, man, what a hell of a whiskey. All right, until next time. Whether it's, uh, you know, the Arizona that's next to Texas that you're thinking. The geography you're learning. Yeah, that you're failing. <laughs> But you can get your GED for grab a buddy and try Bleach, something. Now you look at Bleach stain clothes. You didn't let me get my line in. Oh, gosh, dang it! He can't even. Mm. Bleach stain clothes. You wearing? Try something new. <laughs> <laughs>